Yo, what's up? This video has been brought to you by Card Kingdom. Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Single Scoop. This week, we're jamming a bunch of artifact aggression. We've got some sweet new tools, thanks to Ixalan, but we're having the usual suspects, as you could expect. Ginger Brute, Sir Ginger, all the gingerbread cookies, Tezzeret, Skrelv, yada, yada, yada. But the new tools that we got, Dusk Rose Reliquary, Urza's, com uh, I mean, the Urza's Command isn't new, but it hasn't been played since it came out, so it's pretty much new. Uh, Subterranean Schooner, which I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, but Thousand Moon Smithy, which is going to be the top end, which is going to just keep uh, popping out a bunch of like big constructs and things like that, or gnomes in this case, all my gnomies. Uh, but yeah, we're going to see how we do with this artifact aggression style of play. Is this keepable? Sneep? I think I think we sneep. I think we sneep. Play Skrelf. All right, play this little bad boy right here. Oh, I should have attacked. Where are the rest of my art? What is that? Is that a real card? Hold on, what does that do? I kind of just want to swing through this. I have no other artifacts, so this will just eat a block, right? Oh, what? I'm surprised our opponent didn't block. Okay, we just need our constructs, our little gnomes. Let's see if we can just find our little friendly gnomes. Uh, a plane's craft with an artifact? Hold on, what does that do? Enters the battlefield, search your library for a basic planes card, reveal it, put it in your hand. Then shuffle. Craft with an artifact, the backside gets two... You just, for seven mana, you can... Cra oh! Wait, are they also playing artifacts? Oh, that's hilarious. Resolves. Can I sack this in response? All right, here you go. You got it. I guess I just swing again. Can I, I can't even play this card, right? Like I have to sack something in order to play it. So I'm currently stuck on aggression. I have no aggression. Ah. No, not a toothy little monster. They're flooding the board. If they want to trade all of their artifacts, I think I would take that trade, right? So I cannot sack this. Like, I can't even do anything, can I? They essentially would have to triple block my little guy. Okay. Now what? Oh god, Restless Encourage? I don't want to sack Portrait here. And then I need to, like... Oh, that's good! Okay, I have to sack now. Hey, wait a minute! What are you doing over there? Life link, so they're gonna gain it all back? And they'll have Vigilance? That's gross! They're gonna gain it all back! Let's see if they block it all. If they double block, I will gladly kill the Steel Seraph. And then I'll sack Portrait second main. Get rid of the Steel Seraph, then I pass. So I'm taking four in the air. Yeah, I'll sack Michiko's Reign of Truth, uh, or the, the second body of Portrait that comes out. Uh-huh, get rid of that thing. Lion Sash. I'm hellbent. I have no cards after this turn. So Lion Sash is able to eat the yard. Couldn't get one more artifact to close out, though. They're at one. Was there a way I could sack? No, because then they'd get their, their stuff back. <laughs> I swear their whole deck is just all of this card. Ow. Like, even Lifelink here is just for one, right? I'm at six after this, so I'm not dead. I'll go to five. I have to, I have to end it this turn. Okay, there's no activated abilities that I don't know about. I just swing out here and call it a day. That's plus one. If they answer the Prince of Krug though, I'm super dead. Look, I think they have it, right? Oh, that's a problem. But I guess I still get to eat, eat pretty good actually. Like they obviously block the six, right? All right, now I go ahead and 
eat the other artifact in their graveyard. Eat one more artifact in their graveyard. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. And we even get to gnome it up. One more for the homies at home. I get a Karnstruct. We <laughs> Yay! I'm gonna keep this. Alright, Skrelv. Into what? Yeah, I'll just play this land. Yeah, play this land. Go ahead, get this going. Just get in for two. Alright, little ginger brute. Run wild, run free, my little friend. Be the best version that is you. Oh no, it's dinosaurs. That means there's a brontosaurus, isn't there? They have some kind of interaction spell. There's got to be some kind of dinosaur burn spell. Please don't have electrolyze. That's just brutal. Yada, 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 yada. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and simplify their, their issues here. I don't want them to ever target my ginger brute. So I'm just going to leave up Skrelf. And I'm going to go ahead and attack for four and pass. This way we get a hold of a protection spell. They probably have a braid or something. They'll need to do a double. A double-double, if you would. And or remove Skrelv, then, you know, work their way around it. So I think they're going to try to go for it on my turn, then do it again on their turn. Destroy everyone's uh, RH, shovel Kogla into your... Why do you just get to do that? All right, cool. Pass. So now I get to make a Karn struct at the end of their turn, and, like, maybe... Scry one, then draw a card? The Kogla is saucy, though, right? Like, that's... That's pretty damn saucy. All right, so they're at six mana this turn. They can't block yet, right? Do this. Make a power stone. Then I turn the power stone into a body. And I go ahead and play this here. The Michiko's Reign of Truth. Get that going. I would say this is a pretty good turn. I'm gonna keep this. What am I gonna do? Oh, that's not bad, actually. So if I play here... It's a vampire deck. Okay. I think I'm just gonna play Patchwork's uh, Automaton. Then I'm gonna go into Subterranean uh, Schooner. Okay, so they have this dude. Sure, I'll take the damage. Uh, yeah. Here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and play Unctus's Retrofitter. All right, they're sacking something. They're they're looting. They're drawing. That's fine. I need to build out my board here pretty bad. So they have removal. It's apparent they do. They're looking around. This grows every time you sack a creature or an artifact. No blocks. You got it. Go for it. Gonna go ahead and play Sir Ginger now. Play Subterranean Schooner? Schooner? I don't know. This is on Cavern of This Cavern of Souls only make pumps out vampires. That's fine. Ah, oh, Sag. Okay. Luckily, I get another body. Or I mean another 1-1 one, one counter on my little friend here. Oh, yes. Okay, Tesseret. That's amazing right now. They're juiced on cards. They're getting like low on cards. They only have two. I explore when I crew. Oh, only when it attacks. Never mind. Okay, sure. Your vampire resolves. Your vampire resolves. Okay, so Sir Ginger down. I wonder if they just have go for the throats or something like that. Oh, no, they, they wouldn't play go for the throats. They're just probably playing bitter triumphs. Okay, another blood tithe harvester. Pop off. That's one, two, three, four. If I explore, I get a swing in, then I can sack. We'll play this. Sir Ginger, if they want to block the Schooner, that's fine. I think I'll take that deal. Don't know if I need this card. Yeah, I'll throw that away because I want more aggression. If I can wipe their board right now entirely, that's amazing. Because they have to sack two creatures in order to have this matter. Sure. The Schooner is like nice, but I kind of want to sack it. Retrofitter is a 3-4 body, so that's good. Yeah, maybe I just sacrifice the, the Retrofitter. 
Yeah, I'll sacrifice the retrofitter. Let's eat up the, uh, the Bart. Okay, pass. So now they can choose if they want to kill off my, uh, my Sir Ginger. And then we play Tezzeret. Tezzeret will then turn into, uh, turn this into a 4-4 with Ward. And I love that as well. They j oh, you know what? Never mind. It's just that easy. Just, just draw another Bart. <laughs> Uh, let's go and crew again so that Sir Ginger can now, uh, grow. Do I even care right now about, like, Tezzeret anymore? Actually, let's just play it safe. Yeah, I want that. Oh my god, yeah, I want that. Oh, baby, yeah, I want that. Okay, so can we get the construct? That's all. Just give me a construct. They swing both. That's fine. I force them into, like... That's still fine. It's only when this attacks, right? Yeah. If they want to kill Tez, they have to lose Bart. All right, that's fine. And now I go in. Yes, dude, thank you. Oh my God, I needed that land a million years ago. They die if they don't block. All right, sick. You got it, they get, they get a Bart back, that's fine. It's not the end of the world to me. So now I get to play Skrelv. I'm at a healthy 13, so I don't think they can kill me out of nowhere. Plus, I wanted that 2-4 out of here. Does Edgar matter? I have more bodies than them, so no. Wait, hold on. What does this do? Have you, ever, uh, you may tap 5 on that, or you do control, transform, uh, decline. All right, so now I just animate this land. Skrelv is... You gain only hexproof from that color, not protection. So before anyone tells me to just crew with that. Uh, it's just hexproof, not unblockable. Uh, okay. Oh, wait, actually it doesn't matter, huh? And it can't be blocked. Hold on, and it can't be blocked. Uh, what do I want to win with? I want to win with Sir Ginger. Black. I like Gnome Lethal, but Sir Ginger is cool. Like, right, like it's cool to win with a gnome, but it's cooler to win with a gingerbread cookie. Okay? The gnome lives. Bart lives. Nice. GG's. Uh, I don't think I can keep this. This looks better. This looks a lot better. I'll ship that back. Oh, perfect. It's tapped so I can get through for a damage. Now I just need a, like an untap land on two here. Deck, please. Thank God. Okay. Destroy a tap creature, deals damage to a player. I guess I hang back and block, right? Or not block, but use spring-loaded saw blades. Okay. I'm not blocking. You got it. You can, you can safely swing in freely. Wow. They blew up my gingerbread cookie. That's so rude, dude. Oh, man. That's so brutal. Attack? I, I'm not blocking anymore. Now we just gotta out-aggro them, right? We're not a defensive deck, so we just gotta swing harder. Alright. So this is back to a 4-4. I am asking to keep a creature against removal.deck, so that is ambitious on its own. Um... Whatever they target, I'll eat. All right, I have to take the four here. I think what we do is we start chaining this off. Lion Sash is gonna swing in. So I can't die this turn. I need to set an up key or a... Ah, all right, cool. I don't want to animate my land because go for the throat hits Anything that is is a normal creature. Wait, what is this? Oh, I can make the chariot thing. And that can block. So I'm just going to swing. So that trades. Cool. Go for it. Cut down. That works. 
If they tap out here, that's going to be pain for them, I guess. All right. Do they have removal? They're dead. Like, right? They have to be dead. Yeah, they're dead now. GG's. Now we get in there, we make a map. Good game. All right, I'll keep this. Start with the bird. Um, I'm gonna go with automaton. I think they're gonna sack all their stuff and then go into like some wild later turn nonsense. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and just play Unctus's retrofitter. This is gonna die. They'll make a treasure token. Uh, when they make that treasure token, I will be in the biggest sad moment. This isn't a mana rock, so I'm not worried about a cut down randomly, or else I probably would have played slightly different there. <laughs> yo! Is that who I think it is? It's the squad, yo! We're running wild. Go, Ginger Brute. Go. Run. Be free, Ginger Brute. Oh, wait. Hold on. That doesn't kill it. Never mind. I do like the... Have y'all seen the animation for uh, finding maps, though? It's pretty nice. I've actually enjoyed it. All right, opponent. What are you ch ramping into here? So they've got one, two, three, four... Five. They've got four, actually. This isn't a, a treasure. Okay, they have another little friend. Hit the mother load? What? What is that? Okay. So they're gonna pop to loot again. So right now they're blocking the six, they take 10, they're down to three. So if they sorcery speed something, all I gotta do is just animate two lands, right? So if they're playing some kind of sorcery speed bomb, they probably are going into breach the multiverse or something and then trying to cast this off a spell or maybe even just casting hit the mother load normally. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, all right, we got there. If you thought that deck was sweet, check out this sweet deck. It's Skittles. That's right, Skithrix. Watch me pilot it through Historic and see if it's still good.